Alrighty, now I just want to share this into the um, Hebrew Israelite page. <laughs> Get them coming in here, right? <clears throat> Sorry for me. Give me a moment, y'all. Alrighty. What's going on, though? Hope everybody's day is going good. Um, yeah. We, we live, and we're here to talk about it, you know. <clears throat> if anybody's ever engaged with a black Hebrew Israelite, you guys know that, um, just mainly for me, right? It's obviously is their view of Jesus, right? I got my Jesus is God shirt on, but um, is it bad to be for your people and still be Christian? I, I'm not sure what you mean by that, but yeah. So I'm here to talk about the false gospel of the Black Hebrew Israelites. You know, if you ever discuss with them, they have a very works righteousness um, um, gospel. But tonight I want to I want to dive into Romans chapter three and Romans chapter four. We want to stay contextually into these books and we into these chapters. Sorry, and we want to discuss what was Paul saying the gospel is. Right, he talked about in Romans one um, that he's not ashamed of the gospel. He has to define some things first, but then he's going to pick up into the righteousness of God. As a matter of fact, he's already talked about that a little bit, and the righteousness of God it also is um, manifested in his wrath against sinners. But while they're getting in here, we're just going to go ahead and get started. Romans 1, sorry, Romans 3, verse 9. We're going to start from there. It says, What then? Are we Jews any better off? Funny enough, many black Hebrew Israelites say yeah to that question. Yeah, we, we are better. We're the Jews. We're the chosen people of God. We are better. Because, you know, it's far different than what the Calvinist uh, position is. It's our, our, um, our election is not based on a skin color. It's based on the grace of God. So let's keep moving on. For we have already charged that all, both Jews and Greeks, are on sin. Right? So why is nobody better? Because all have sinned. Right? That's the conclusion in Romans 3.23. All have sinned. So whether you're black, white, Hispanic, Asian, you 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 sinned. Right? So you're not better off. As it is written, verse 10. None is righteous, no, not one. Why is no one righteous? Because all have sinned. No one understands. Um, unless you've been enlightened first, Bob recognizing your true nationality no no one understands no one seeks for god jew or gentile all have turned aside together they become worthless no one does good not even one their throat is an open grave they use their tongues to deceive the venom of asp is under their lips you're a black keeper israelite okay well this is for you Pay attention, please. Their mouth is full of curses and bitterness. Their feet are swift to shed blood. In their paths are ruin and misery. In the way of peace they have not known. There is no fear of God before their eyes. Down with the white people. All right. So. Oh, that's my brother. Hey, uh, what's up, man? <laughs> yeah, but... um. You know, why, why, so, so starting off, right, this passage, this pericope uh, from verse 9 to 18 is to, to everybody, right? Jew and Gentile, that's all humanity. Whether you um, are black, white, poor, rich, this is describing the whole of humanity. Right, because it's talking about all who have sinned. Right, that's everybody. Um, everybody's under sin, you know. 
So, none is righteous. We've all sinned before a holy God. But this is what, what r really concerns me about the black Hebrew Israelite community. They read this passage and they say, yeah, this is why we need to keep the laws. You know what I mean? How do they actually justify their theology? What have you heard? Um, really, it don't got to make sense. <laughs> like They don't care about context. For the most part, many of them. As long as they can answer the question, they think it's a good one. Like many, you know, other cult groups or atheists, they think if they have an answer, then it's a good one. <laughs> right? So a black Hebrew Israelite will and before they even come in here, for most of them coming here, I want I want to say this at the beginning. So when it happens, y'all y'all just kind of like, wow, really? I, I see it. I'm going to say things like we're saved by faith alone. We're saved in the righteousness of Christ alone, by his grace. What they're going to hear is, what they're going to hear is that you can live however you want. So let that be known before a mass of them come in, right? You, I'm going to say things like that, that our works can't save us, that we're not saved by following the law. What they interpret that to mean is you can live however you want. So when y'all see it, y'all can just kind of like, wow, you were right. Um, you know, and I'm no prophet. <laughs> I'm no, you know, this ain't no prophecy. I just dealt with them before. And I know how they 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 um they go along those lines. But like I said, back to the text. Romans three. Right? Many, many black Hebrew Israelites will read that. And for some strange reason, because right, Paul's clearly saying, you know, um, yeah, that's right, bro. <laughs> for some strange region like reason they'll read this right paul saying you know we're, we're the law condemns right all man is charged all man is guilty of sin right the law makes that known and evident matter of fact in romans 7 uh paul says that the um the law matter of fact even like stirs it up to sin more right like like the fact that god's law says right not to steal like he brings that law and sinners we got a sinful heart. Man, that stirs us up to do it. And man, you see this in children. You see this all the time, right? That You bring that law, don't do that. Man, people are itching not to do it. It's stirring them up. Yeah, so, um, yeah, we, we may get on that Gentiles topic too. But like I said, so they'll, they'll read this passage where it's saying all men are sin. No one understands. No one seeks God. All guilty. Um, no one's, you know, Jew or, Jew or Gentiles know better. And they'll read that and be like, that's why we got to keep the law. That's why we got to obey God's commandments. And I, don't, I, and I don't disagree with that statement in its context, right? But if you're meaning we are to obey God's law and keep his commandments for righteousness sake, then I disagree with that, <laughs> right? Because Paul's already said it. Right. Uh, we all. Well, he's about to say it. We all guilty. Right. The law doesn't save you. The law does not make you right with God. The law is good, but its purpose was never to save. The purpose was to show that you cannot save yourself. The purpose was to show how guilty you are before God. That's what the law's purpose was to do. But many people take that right. Um, and they want to be they 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 want to be like the Judaizers, Galatians one, and we may get into that. But let's continue. It says, "Now we know that whatever the law says, it speaks to those who are under the law, so that every mouth may be stopped." Exactly what I've been saying, and the whole world may be held accountable to God, and we are all born under the law. We all born under the law. And the law says be perfect. 
The law doesn't know grace. The law says be, per be perfect. Don't steal. Don't think about stealing, right? Don't, don't commit adultery. Don't think about doing it. That's what the law says. And the law brings the justice of God. It brings out his holiness. But many people don't think about that. I mean, I had a conversation the other day on here where, um, you know, the guy was pretty much saying like, you know, no, you know, you just got to kind of, you know, do the best you can. And it really just shows a, a fundamental uh, degradation of God's law. Just they, they, a low view of God's law when you, when you say those things. But check this out. Like, how could Paul not be more explicit? Romans 3.20. For by the works of the law, works, not just one, like, oh, by, by the law of sacrifice. No. The works, plural, of the law. No human being, no flesh, no man will be justified in his sight. Since through the law comes knowledge of sin. Are you saying through... Through animal sacrifices comes knowledge of sin. No, through God's revealed law comes, comes this knowledge of sin. Through God's commandments. Debate over, right? <laughs> but many will still deny it. There are going to be some people who come in here in a little bit, I bet. I bring that up, I bring that passage up, and they still gonna deny it. They gonna they gonna say what I just said. It's talking about the law of sacrifice. No, the law of sacrifice doesn't doesn't bring knowledge of sin. <laughs> you knew it was sin before that. But they'll suppress the truth. Romans 1, right? Man, I wish I could just go all through Romans. I mean, it would take hours to do to do it justice. But man, the book of Romans. And I encourage you, if you're a black Hebrew Israelite watching, I encourage you to read the book of Romans. Read it through. Don't just stick around your preset package or or just around the text they they, they encourage you to read. Read all the read all the book. Read it, read it. Because it's a letter. Read it through. My shirt says Jesus is God. So. Yeah. But let's continue. There's no questions. Right. So Paul says by the works of the law, no man shall be justified in his sight. Right. But now the righteousness of God has been manifested apart from the law. I'll do I'll do a scope uh, soon on, on Jesus deity. But right now we're going to stay focused on this topic. All right. Although the law and the prophets bear witness to it, the righteousness of God through faith in Jesus Christ for all who believe. For there is no distinction. <laughs> Right. For Jew and Gentile, there is no distinction to those who believe you receive through faith the righteousness of God in Jesus Christ. And that is how the the, the righteousness of God is uh, still upheld. That is how right believers receive perfection. I, I tell this all the time to people. You must be perfect to get into heaven. Why? Because the law of God demands perfection. You and I cannot do that on our own accord. That And that is the very reason why you need Jesus. Because he credited our, our perfection because of his life, perfect life, perfect death, his atoning death on the cross. And by faith, we receive his perfection. So on judgment day, God doesn't see me, the sinner. He sees Christ and his righteousness. Christ is our propitiation. Christ is our expiation. Amen. So, right, and here's, here's the point. There is no distinction, right, between Jew and Gentile, right? Why? For all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. 
You want to know why it doesn't matter if you're black or white? Black Hebrew Israelites? Spreading lies that only black people will be saved? Only Hispanics will be saved? You want to know why it doesn't matter about your ethnicity? Because everybody sinned. <laughs> because all have sinned. Not just the Gentiles. Black Hebrew Israelites have sinned. Jews have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. The basis is the same. We all fall short, right? The basis of the, is the same. For everybody, Jew and Gentile. And are justified by his grace. <laughs> What's up, Rob? <laughs> and are justified by his grace as a gift through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. Now, notice one thing, because a lot of black Hebrew Israelites like to say, uh, you know, that the, um, you know, the, the gospel writers, the, the, all of them were black Hebrew Israelites. But you ain't got nothing here, Paul, saying, oh, you just need to recognize your, your, your nationality. Then you'll be made right with God. None of that. Paul is saying the opposite of what many cult leaders say today. Many of the black Hebrew Israelites say today. And I got to address their false gospel, right? So, so, right, we're justified by his grace, not by, by, not by our works, not by our uh, obedience to the law. <laughs> Latinos, too, blacks, whites, Hispanics, Asians, all are on the same basis. All men, all men has fallen short of glory of God, and they come in the same way, by his grace, through faith, in, in the work of Jesus Christ on the cross. Like I said, where do they fit in the story? The same as blacks, whites, in every other race, every other ethnicity. Exactly, that none may boast. Ephesians 2 8. Yeah, I don't, I don't know, I don't know where he at. I don't know where all the uh BHIs are from the other scope. <laughs> there are at least two or three in here. But maybe they'll join in. I, I shared it to the black Hebrew Israelite group. Um let me let me uh let me see. Nope, nothing. <laughs> maybe they'll come in later. Jesus wasn't white. I'm not saying he was white. I don't care if he was white or black. It doesn't matter to me. It's not a sole priority if he was black or white. The point is Christ shed his blood on the behalf of sinners. And, th and, and that's what we need to do, right? Put our faith in Christ. The scripture does not teach all this uh, racist rhetoric that is going around. <laughs> Rob, 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 you're going you're gonna to start a fight. Right? So justified by his grace as a gift through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus, whom God put forth as a propitiation by his blood to be received. How? By faith, not by your works. Not by your faith and your works, but by your faith. If you add to the text, you're adding to the word of God. Propitiation, not an intuition, <laughs> if that's what you're, you're trying to say. Propitiation. Hold on, I'm trying to. Hold on, somebody's asking. Where, where, can they, where can they join this? All right. But yeah. So, this was to show God's righteousness. Why? We already discussed this. 
because of God's holiness. Because God demands perfection. It was to show his whole, his righteous, God's righteousness. Because in his divine forbearance, he has passed over former sins. It was show his righteousness at the present time so that he might be just and the justifier of the one who has faith in Jesus. So, right, what this is saying is, is, is God is the one who, how does the human understand God? By reading his, his word, his understanding, his, his revelation. I said the false gospel of the black Hebrew Israelites. So, so God is the just and the justifier. He's just in that he demands righteousness. But he's the one that came down and accredited righteousness on our behalf. But not according to the black Hebrew Israelites. The black Hebrew Israelites say, yeah, but now you got to work and then you'll get it. Not according to this text. And, and what they'll do is they'll they'll want to jump to texts like James 2. Or you, you may you may have a scripture that talks about being obedient. James 2, different context. Right? Another text they'll go to, it'll be out of it, it'll be out of context. But but here's the thing: if you believe in the inspiration of scripture, if you believe in the inerrancy of God's word. It can't contradict this, right? So God is the just and the justifier. We're getting to, that's right, solo scriptura. We're getting to, to, to the nail, I think. Verse 27, if you follow along, Romans chapter 3. Then what becomes of our boasting? It's excluded. Why can't we boast? Because we didn't gain our righteousness. It's not on our behalf. It's excluded. By what kind of law? By a law of works? No. <laughs> like a direct contradiction into what the black Hebrew, Hebrew Israelites say. But, but, what, but what kind of law? But by the law of faith. The law of faith. For we hold that one is justified, listen to this, by faith, apart from the works of the law. Not with your works, but apart from them. Right? Absolutely heard of James White. <laughs> Sergeant. <laughs> yeah, love James White Ministry, Alpha and Omega Ministry. Great, great resource for many that be had. But yeah, and, I, and I'm, I'm really hoping some, some join, join this scope because I think this is important. I think it's crucial to know. Awesome. But right, one is justified by faith apart from the works. It's not our works that save us. Or is God the God of Jews only? The question, the, the answer to the question is no. But just in case you need, you know, an answer, he answers. Is he not the God of the Gentiles also? Yes, of Gentiles also. I mean, so many black Hebrew -like doctrines being crushed just in this chapter. Since God is one, who will justify the circumcised by faith and the uncircumcised through faith? So whether Jew or Gentile is through faith. Do we then overthrow the law by this faith? By no means. On the contrary, we uphold the law. How do we uphold this law? By faith. I prefer the ESV. Um, I know... Me and my reform brothers, ESV or NESB. How do we uphold the law? By faith. He just said that. 
verse 27. <laughs> He's just repeating himself. Paul is explaining what he means. So that's Romans chapter 3. And if we get more to come in, we may re-go over some of that. I may go to chapter 4. I'm hoping they come in. But my, but my concern is for these people. For these people caught up in this movement. Because the black Hebrew Israelite movement, it puts a yoke on people's neck that, that nobody can bear. Not even the ones teaching it. It enslaves people. And right, me being a black man, I care for them. My heart breaks because they have a gospel that can't even save them. And it's saddening. It's sad to see these men passionate, zealous. For a, for a hope that is fleeting. For a hope that will not save you. They worry about the outer, but the inward is jacked up. They hate their neighbor. They hate the white man. They hate... The, the, the Edomite. Yes, I'm talking about them. <laughs> right? We're not even going to get into the claim, like, are they the real Israelites? Because I don't believe so. But the really the point I'm making is the gospel that they, they preach is a gospel that leaves them without hope. It's a gospel that won't save them. Why? Because their gospel teaches them to trust in themselves. To look to, to, to look to the inner. Exactly, right? The real Israelites are the true Jew, right? Like in Romans 2, is the one who's been circumcised of heart. Who are the real Israelites? The ones who have been circumcised by the heart. Not those who trust in themselves. I don't care if you are a, a an Israelite according to the flesh. Paul said, the scripture says that you're not an Israelite unless you've been circumcised of the heart. It's by faith, my friends. Man, you add one ounce of your works to what Jesus did, you will perish. Man, one of my favorite hymns one of my favorite hymns, man. Nothing in my hand I bring. Simply to the cross I cling. My friends, what can we add? My shirt says Jesus is God. What can we add? What, what does my, my, my righteousness does not accredit me anything. Jesus paid it all, right? That we, we sing that. We Jesus paid it all. He didn't pay some. So what can my works accredit gain me? It's by faith alone. And like I 